From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, dear listeners. This is Peter Tischer. Welcome to another episode of Ropecast. This time, we're going to give you four episodes in which we're going to help you do some Christmas shopping this year. And, of course, this is a language podcast. So we will concentrate on things that you can read on books. And we're going to do one genre each episode. This time, fantasy. And I'm not with Roger Charlton today. I am here with Christoph Klein, our engineer. Hiya. Hi, Christoph. Let's just dive right into the topic. We have a number of books that we would like to recommend as Christmas gifts at different levels, starting with very easy books, going to rather difficult ones. Want to start? Cool. I see a very nice cover picture there. Yeah, that's my recommendation. I don't know a lot about fantasy, but I would recommend an easy reader from Pearson English Active Readers, The Nightmare Before Christmas. That used to be a movie, but here it's also a book about, uh, well, Halloween people, Halloween ghosts that want to go and celebrate Christmas. It's actually a sort of a weird comedy and a fantasy combined. And the interesting thing about this Pearson English Active Reader is that you get a CD with it where the book is read to you. And it's in very easy English as well. So maybe for somebody else whom you know that doesn't speak English all that well, or if you want to give yourself a break and read something very easy. What do you have? Well, if you want to crank up the level of difficulty a little, then uh, we probably get to the full unedited novels as opposed to the readers with it, which have reduced vocabulary. And to start out with that, I usually recommend children's literature because that has reduced vocabulary. And my uh, recommendation for today would be the Narnia Chronicles by C.S. Lewis. Could you just give us briefly what this is about? It's a story about children who accidentally get to a different place, maybe a parallel universe, uh, which is called Narnia, or it's just one of the countries in that universe, and they experience adventures there of different kinds. A little bit like Alice in Wonderland. Yes, but um, much more detailed. There are six books in the series, in the Chronicles, and uh, they all um, follow different protagonists. Mm -hmm. You have also something you told me before we started recording on your list, which is a modern classic. Yes, familiar to probably nearly everybody out there listening, Harry Potter, of course. And if you're familiar with the movies, if you have read uh, your native language version of the books, why don't you give it a try and read the English original? You think that is still worth it? You know, everybody knows this uh, little wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends from the movies now. Why should we read this? Well, if you've seen the movies, then the book will offer a plethora of uh, additional information that was just too complex to be put into the movie. Mm -hmm. So like with every literature adaption, uh, there's a lot left out. Okay, and you still know the basic story. for So for learners, that's a little bit easier than having a completely new story. So if you have time on your hands, people, then Harry Potter is still something to look at. And maybe one last recommendation, Christoph, something where their readers can really sink their teeth into, but still have some fun. Yeah, one that I really liked, and I read it during the past year, is the Peter Grant series by Ben Aronovich, which is basically, it's sometimes called Harry Potter for Adults, because it's themed around police constable Peter Grant, who by accident discovers his magical abilities. And uh, he's approached then by Detective Chief Inspector Nightingale, who turns out to be the one-person department for supernatural things, in the London police, and uh, he basically takes him as an apprentice. Okay. Classical wizard thing to do. Right. So that's a little bit like the Harry Potter story, where he has those wizards that teach him. Harry yes. Potter only transferred to a crime novel Yes, it's setting. a nice combination of crime story and fantasy novel, 
And of course, the whole police setup makes it rather difficult to read because it has very much police jargon in there. So it's not something I would recommend for beginners, but definitely worthwhile if you have a, a good command of the English language. So if you have been listening to our podcast for a while, then you are probably already an advanced learner, folks. The Peter Grant series is a recommendation. We will put this all on our website and on our YouTube page at www.robecast.de. And we'll be back in a week with another genre and new recommendations for shopping around for Christmas gifts. English books, of course. Bye-bye for now. Take Bye, care. Folks. And have a happy holiday season. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.